Alan, with thousands of people heading out here to the NRA convention, traffic is a major problem. Just take a look behind me. You can see these cars lining up. Traffic has been bumper to bumper for hours. I talked to one man who is making his way out here for the convention. He tells me he had been sitting in that line of traffic for three hours and he hadn't even made it inside to the expo center. Traffic, you know the back roads. This is some of the traffic that you'll be taking if you're coming in this way. We've been watching this line. It's creeping very slowly as people head out here. Now, when we made our way out here, we sat in that traffic for a while. It was stop and go. We were making our way out around 930 this morning. It took us about half an hour to get out here. And uh, we started running into some of that traffic around the St. Catherine Street exit on I-65 South. And it was just stop and go, stop and go as we made our way out here. But I did catch up up with one family just a little while ago as they were coming out here. They're from this area and they say knowing those back roads saved them a lot of time on their drive. Everyone's just sitting there. I guarantee it's going to take about two hours for the car in front of us that didn't move <laughs> to get here. So it was worth it. No. Now, one thing that we've also seen, we've seen Louisville Metro Police officers, they've been out helping direct traffic all morning long. They're going to continue to stay out here, and I'll tell you why. This area here, this area that's fenced off, this is where protesters are expected to be coming later this afternoon. We've been out here, like I said, since about 10 o'clock this morning. No sign of any protesters yet, but uh, Louisville Metro Police on standby if and when any of those protesters make it out here for the NRA convention. Reporting live outside the Expo Center, Emily Maha, WLKY News.